Welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's demo will be Data Cloud, how to demonstrate building a widget in Data Cloud. We're just going to pick up a report from the tutorial. Let's just get one that has uh, good information. The more information, the better the cloud can serve you. This might have a little bit limited information, but it'll serve our purpose. I moved the year to the page by just to get it out of the way because really all you need is one attribute in the cloud. You can have multiple metrics. They will show up in the hover over, but the first metric will be the metric that is used to display the size. Just going to remove some thresholding that was on this default report from the tutorial. So display the values. And then I'm going to save it in my folder. Then I'm going to embed it into a document or a dashboard to use. Let's go to my folder and use that. Let's just create a new document or dashboard actually for demonstrating the data cloud widget. Okay. Go with a blank. Pull up the source that we used. In our case, uh, it was in our reports because we modified it. There we go. And embed the report. I'm just going to embed it with its existing filtering just to make it simple. Because all we need to do is just show how this widget is uh, built or added to a dashboard. Okay. I'm going to grab my data set, position it wherever I want. Take a look at a few properties. Make sure that the widget is selected. The HTML is your best choice because Flash is being deprecated, though you still can use Flash if you really want to. And here's the different formats it'll display in. Done. We'll just go and save this. Give it a name I can recognize. So now we have our dashboard. Let's go to the web, pull it up. There it is. Okay, it's pulling out and there we go there's our data cloud it's got like several regions and uh, the regions are two things are happening one is the size is reflecting the revenue uh, just and there's two colors there's the blue and the orange again you can change the alignment there's a few options here you can change you want to make it a square log or linear uh, depends on the smoothness of your design of your uh, uh, data. Uh, the square root will display large values in different uh, and show the difference between them. A log will smooth out gradual increments and the linear will use weighted average. So all of them will produce the same result. It's just that variance will vary from one to another. Uh, again, <clears throat> when you hover over there will, you will see the metrics and the clouds. You can actually control the formatting and uh, or the sorting as well. But if you want to control the format on what's being displayed in the hover over, you have to actually modify the column itself. So let's just choose one of these. Let's just change the metric revenue. I'm just going to change the dollar position. Just switch it around or something. Just want to show that this is where you can control it. It won't show up by default but we can modify the default okay so let's make the changes that we need so we're happy with them we can go back to our presentation mode to see what's going to happen as we see it in the table itself the formatting has taken place but now let's go and check on here's our data cloud and property needs to be inherited if you don't have the inherited checked please check it now and uh, notice now that the formatting that we applied to the table is being applied here to the data cloud. This is uh, the simplest way to create this data cloud widget and it can be interactive you know with other selectors etc. I encourage you to go and see our video about selectors and layers to see how to make it interactive with everything else but you can also uh, control 
the or create the data cloud as a report as well you just make sure that the project defaults allows you to customize so if you don't have that capability ask your admin to do that I'm just going to show you quickly where that's or how to check it off if you don't see this option doesn't mean you don't have it just means your admin has not enabled it I'm using like shed 10 uh, so it might be a, look a little different in 9.4 but it's the same concept all right now that I enabled the, the custom if I go to the graph mode I can go to the tools and check on the custom visualization and choose which visualization do I actually want it to appear and here I'm going to use the data cloud custom visualization okay and now we see this obviously I don't have too much information too many rows or too many uh, regions in this case so there's uh, the data cloud is uh, not too dense but obviously if you had more information this would be denser and uh, again remember that the two colors blue and orange are just alternating there's nothing special about this you can change the colors of the alternating and it's just meant for readability more or less thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again